All right, back with this video here. Um, it's been a long time and I will jump back into the centipede here. I have most of everything put back together. I think um, where I left off right before filming this part, it was December and now it's August, so eight months later, crazy. Um, got new control panel overlays and I just put these in here real quick so I could actually play some games. This is the better of the two ones and it feels good like just moving the ball around there's not a lot of movement you know in the ball it's not loose and I played a few games and it looks great it feels good this is the one and it just seems like there it's definitely looser like you can actually move the ball a little bit but it still works pretty good but this is the worst of the two, so this was originally player one. And it even sounds a little bit different in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I have to take these back out because I I need to, uh, first off, clean these buttons and um, do some uh, another adjustment. But let me... I actually have an issue with one of the PCBs not saving high scores so what i figured i would do and i don't know if i'll split it up into multiple things but there's i fixed this pcb in a different video i'll link to it i have this pcb down there that um i linked that i fixed as well and they have different symptoms this one here is not saving high scores and i figured i'd go through troubleshooting that so that might actually be a different video I'm not sure but um, let's power it on and and find out all right actually this is my second PCB but whatever it doesn't matter this one here I've just put it in test mode and you can see there's doesn't show any errors everything looks good with this monitor as far as the border goes you can see the white outline maybe it needs to go that way a little bit I'm not sure I don't know what that white is but if I move the if I move the um, trackball, if I move it up, you can see it goes up. If you move it down, so I'm trying to get both in the, you can see it goes down. So up is up, down is down. But now watch this. If I go left, it goes right. If I go right, it goes left. And that is not because of the control panel. I don't know. There's something going on with this PCB where it's interpreting this incorrectly if i go right it goes left if i go left it goes right so that's um this is pcb number two that's the issue with that is uh left is right and right is left and then i'm going to put in my original pcb and put it in test mode um, and you'll see this 4ff error because when you're in test mode i don't know if i can do this and you hold both start buttons and this button here at the same time you'll get the 4FF which basically is resetting the high score table um, and then you can play a game and then once I turn it off and turn it back on I shouldn't get that so let me go ahead and turn it off I don't think We'll go into test mode. Well, it still says 4FF, but it, it should once once I actually get a high score, it shouldn't show that 4FF anymore. Um, just like when I first powered this on, it didn't show it. So that's one of the indicators that, like, if you power it up and it says 4FF, um, even after setting the high score, then you know your high score is is jacked up. I think. I think th I think this is true. All right, and this is my working PCB where the high score is not working. I don't think it's working on the other. I mean, I think it is working on the other one, but because left is left, right, and right is left, I haven't been able to set a high score on it. But um, um, on here, you'll see there's actually a 30-volt test point right here. And this is your EA ROM. I, um, that's actually, it's a... I think it's a read-only ROM and it requires a certain like a high voltage like 30 volts or something like that to actually 
right into it or something. I'm not exactly sure. I have to read the circuit, the diagram a little bit more. But basically the centipede boards get 22 volts, plus 22 and minus 22 from the AR. And then I guess through these, um, what is that? Is it a voltage regulator? Okay, via these voltage regulators, I think it takes that negative... 22 and positive 22 and makes these 15 volts so plus 15 and minus 15 and then I guess it does something with those and makes the 30 volts the uh, minus 30 volts actually um, so I, I haven't read the schematic yet there's obviously a couple of diodes and and things in here but that's what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the cabinet and then as best I can I'm going to measure the voltage while it's in the cabinet because I don't have an AR2 on my bench to put out 22 volts. Um, damn, it's kind of would be nice if I had a, an adjustable power supply. I could just hook up to that and test that circuit by itself. Interesting. All right, here's my other board. And I know the light is washing it out. It looks really good at dark. Um, let's go ahead and go into test mode. And... Like one of the things that's kind of weird that's going on here is you see like the image is different. Well, I see my 4FF, which I don't think I should be seeing. Um, if I go up, up is up. Actually, let me do it so you can see it. Down is down, up is up, left is left, and right is right. So we know my control panel is wired correctly. This board is working fine. I don't know why the other ones like it is. Um, but this one will not save high scores. And... Something is going on over here. Like it's. Didn't I only have one, two, three, four? Why do I have? It almost looks like I have a whole nother line that I shouldn't have or something. I don't know. And when you play it. All right, let me go. Dang it. <laughs> when you play it, you'll notice the centipedes go off to off the screen a little bit. I'm gonna, I'll press play real quick. Look, look how I, I don't know even what you call that, not centipede, but it goes half off the screen to the right and left. And I haven't adjusted the monitor at all. See, it should like stop right there, but it kind of like goes further than what the other board does. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe something slightly different in the video circuitry or something. But a couple of issues on these boards. Let's first um, hook up our multimeter to the test points. All right, I know it's kind of difficult for you to see. I don't know how I can get in there any closer. There we go. There's my 30 volt test point. And I have my negative on neg ground right there on that one. And our 30, point, 30 volt test point shows negative um, 14 volts. It should be negative 30, I believe. So let's move that to, let's back up. So we know that's wrong. So let's go to our 20 volts. Actually, I'll be right back. All right, hopefully you can see that. So there's my 20 volt test point. 22 volts. And we have 22 volts. Now let's go to negative 22. We got negative 23, which should be fine. And then let's go to our 15 volts. This is negative 15 right there. If you guys can see that, hopefully, right there. We got negative 15. And let's go to our positive 15. And we have nothing. So we know that's... No, nothing coming out of the positive 15, so I'm going to go look at the schematic, um, put this on the bench, and see if we can replace a part to get our positive 15 back. So that's at least part of the reason why we're not getting our high score saved on this. All right, I'm at the bench, and I have it 
plugged in and working there. So this is the board that doesn't save hive scores. And even though I don't have 22 volts, what I did is I hooked up, I do have out of my power supply, negative 12 and plus 12. And I just wired those up to the plus 22 and minus 12. And then I wanted to come here, check the input of this 7815. No, that's not, is that the input? Let's see. Yeah, that's the input right there. And I have 12 volts. And then if I check the output, I have nothing. So we know voltage is coming in and it's not going out versus on our... It's a little bit different setup on this 7915, the inputs in the middle. We have negative 12 volts and then the output. Whoops, shit. Now, did I just screw it up? Hope I didn't. All right, yeah, negative twelve volts. Maybe my ground wasn't good. Minus eleven. Plus 12 output, we get nothing. All right, so I'm going to go look for a 7815 and then uh, come back. All right, back at the cabinet, I replaced that 7815. Let's power it on. Now we have negative 27 volts, which is a lot better. I could have probably checked the caps or maybe recapped it. I, I don't know. Some of the caps didn't look great, but they're they're probably fine. So let's put this in test mode and see if we get that air still. Oh, now we get something else. 4C4. I don't know what the heck that is. Let's reset our high score. Huh. Should give me a different reading when I reset it. 4C4. I don't know what that is. Maybe, oh gosh, you know what? Maybe the um, EA ROM is bad. Let me look at that. All right, I don't know why, but it did save the high scores. I power off. I just set a high score. I didn't film it, obviously. Power it on. And it does say, you know, put in my dad high score, 21,000. If I switch it. Okay, my error's gone, the four. I don't know why it didn't go four FF if I reset it. There we go, now it says 4FF. Maybe it was corrupt or something that EA ROM was jacked up. Now it says 4FF, and if we power cycle it, and I think play a game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, see my high score's gone. There's no dad there, sorry for the glare. No, I'm not gonna be able to save a high score, but. You get the idea. We played a game, powered off, put it in test mode over there, and let's see if that 4, now it still says 4FF, so, so we have to actually play a whole game, I think, for that to go away. But once I play a game, then it, that 4FF should, should go away, I think. Alright, I, I played a game real quick, so let's put in our initials. I didn't get the high score. Just, we're going to do cat, I guess. Alright. And now let's... Okay, that's number three. Let's power off. We're going to put it into... Test mode. Our 4FF is gone. And our high score is there.
All right, so the high score save is fixed. It's not. It wasn't the EA ROM. A lot of times people will replace the EA ROM. So I'm going to go ahead and we still got some weird thing going on with the sides. Like I could adjust the monitor, but I don't understand why the one PCB, it, this is set up correctly, and the other PCB it's not. Like why is one PCB putting out a bigger image than the other? It doesn't make sense. All right, I'm going a little bit fast here. Let's see here. Um big glare sorry about that um, but anyway so the trackball comes in to these god dang that's bad <laughs> um, comes in to EF10 or EF11 goes to this um, LS157 then goes into the same LS74 and then two different counters C11 and B11 um, for player one and player two I assume so because the behavior is the same for both player one and player two, with the left going left and the right going, no, left going right and right going left, I was thinking it has to be something that's shared, which probably is this LS157 or LS74. And um, I'm going to troubleshoot that in the cabinet here real quick or try to. I actually have my logic comparator because the chips happen to be towards this end of the board. I was able to get my comparator on there. Um, this is the LS157, and we're just looking at that as I move the trackball. So I'm going to move the trackball just like this and see if we get any lights. Nothing. So it looks like that LS157 is working correctly, right? I mean, we don't see jack. So let me try the LS. All right, I have the, um, the logic comparator on the LS74, and we definitely look... Something does not look right. <laughs> so, it was on, hopefully my thing's on there correctly. Yeah, every time I move the trackball, that LS74, like, um, where am I at? I'm moving it right here. That's going crazy. So, got lucky just with the location of that because I don't have a trackball on the bench. But let me pull this out and put a 74, LS74 in there. Right, you missed some excitement because I had put in, I replaced the 74, LS74 with this chip right here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and it, it was hosed up and then I replaced another one and it was hosed up. It was the same brand. And then I took my LS74 out of my comparator and put it in the board and it's completely working out. I got up and down, left and right. So, so I got some bad chips from somewhere. And I don't know why these would be bad. Fairchild, maybe? It says F on it. L74. I'm going to test these in my damn TL866 and see if they're bad or not. Something's hosed up with them. Wacky. But anyway, all right, so that's fixed. All right, testing the 74 LS74. is first one tested bad on the flip flop. Let me put one more in here. Actually, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to test them all with you guys, but I'll test the two that I tried. Let's see here. Yep, error. Set and that, that one's even worse. Set and reset error. I wonder if all of these are bad. I wonder where I got these from. Where did I get these from? Okay, that one's good. I just happened to grab two that were jacked up, I guess. Cool. So at least two of them are good. These are um, S seventy fours, not LS. What's this? That's something different. Yeah. Okay. So two. I'll leave those three in there. The other, there was one more in there. All right. 
So what am I doing next? I don't know, trackball stuff. All right, actually, I was thinking about it. I'm gonna make two, this into two videos. So what I'm gonna do right now, instead of the tra trackball thing, I'll do the trackballs as a separate video. But I got my oscilloscope on. This is my board, um, board number one, that kind of is too tall or too wide, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, but I just want to measure some, like some of these test points. Like, where's my vertical sink? I should have a vertical sink test point somewhere. Where is it? <clears throat> Damn, I thought I would have a vertical and horizontal sink on here. And I don't. Oh yeah, I do. Here's horizontal sink. Right there. And we have 15.75. It's not moving at all. 15.75476. I need to write that down. Okay, just document because I just want to see if there's any difference between the two boards. So this board right here, I recorded 4H, 6 megahertz, 12 megahertz, the CPU, um, H sync, and V sync. And let me go put grab the other board and come right back. Okay, this is the other board. And actually, while it was in the cabinet, I did some measurements, and the negative 15 volt was at like negative 20 something. So I'm gonna replace this 79, 15. It was still around 33 volts at the 30 volt lug. Um, but this, this high score save is working, but I just don't think this voltage regulator is doing a good job. I'm gonna check the caps too, just to see if there's anything else there. But the out the voltage coming out of that 79, 15 is not right. All right, back to what we're doing. Vertical sync. Yeah, definitely a difference. I had 61.54 on no, yeah, 61.54 on my other board, and I'm getting 59.9 here. So definitely a difference in the sync circuit on the vertical side, though. The horizontal is dead on. So that makes sense of why the higher frequency okay so yeah I'm gonna have to come back to that but there's definitely a difference on the vertical sync side this one's almost dead on 60 Hertz the other ones at 61.54 let me check um, 4h 4h 756 2248 that's pretty close I had 2286 that's 2248 6 megahertz 6.0497 versus 6.0498 so that seems pretty close 12 megahertz is 1209 12.09 yeah and then let's go to our clock 1.50001 that's pretty that's pretty much so the horizontal, the vertical is definitely off between this board and the other board. So that's probably why my um, size is different. All right, I know I'm jumping around a little bit, but I replaced that 7915 regulator and um, I'm getting good negative 15 volts now. This was around negative 22 volts before. And when I was going to the 30 volt test point, Whoops. I was going to the 30 volt test point. I was getting like 30, negative 33 volts. Now I'm getting negative 27, which um, closely aligns with what I was getting on the board that I fixed the high score save on. So even though this high score save was working on this board, when I did that measurement, it just seemed like that voltage regulator wasn't doing a good job. It was off by was supposed to be 15 volts, and it was like around 20. I don't know, it was like 22 or something like that. So definitely needed to be replaced. So got that done too. All right, I guess um, I'm going to wrap up this video and make it different than the trackball. But let me play a game and maybe set a high score. Maybe. Wrap up the game with... Um...
I'm not very good at this game, but... Oh. Damn. Damn, I knew I was in trouble there. Alright, got a high score at least. Damn. <laughs> oh my god, gotta clear some of that stuff out. Not too bad actually so far. <laughs> That's freaking ridiculous. I don't know anything about strategy on this game at all. I'm just trying to stay alive, which I didn't. Alright, we gotta put in the uh, dad high scores. So, oh, there we go. Um, 33,000. That's pretty decent for me anyway, but um, anyway, hopefully, uh, what do we do? We fixed the high score, we fixed um, the trackball thingy, um, and did some troubleshooting a little bit. Hopefully it's useful to somebody. Cheers, guys.